you have successfully done this, after you have successfully put your stone on, in your pattern board, the next thing is for you to transfer it into a transfer sheet, which I'll show you what a transfer sheet looks like and how, how much you can get it in the market. So, first thing first, you can just use this and view like the length of, you know, I have it plenty, it's not that I have one yet. So, just view the length of the length you'll be needing. As you can see, I've seen the length I'll be needing. Be careful with the stones. So, I've seen the length I'll be needing. So, I'm going to cut this out. You learn how to manage your your transfer sheet too. So, I'll cut this out from my available transfer sheet. And you can also use the tool to measure it. So, I've cut this out. The transfer sheets come with two sides. Show me, show it here. It comes with two sides. One transparent one and one white one here. So you open it. This white one has a gum under. So you be careful. And when you are transferring your stone into your transfer sheet, you make sure someone is available. So I have another, um, another clamapo uh, supporter. I have another supporter scrub here. And supporter lamapo and then you have you hold it, you get someone to hold it. See, see the way I'm doing it. I'm, I'm the one drawing it from down. You'll be careful with it too, because if that transfer should gone with each other, you may not be able to use it very well. So you'll be very careful with it. Are you seeing it? So I've removed it. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Please let them see what I'm doing. Or you stand up. So this is it. This is it. So we've successfully, and you take this one, you keep it somewhere, not too far from you. Then you tell the person, please, move closer here, stand up, move like this. Are you seeing what I'm doing? I have to show you this thing in detail. So you tell the person on your mat set, please don't put it, wait, are you seeing it? Don't put it, don't put it, put it. Have you seen it? Hope you saw what I did. Then you don't take your duster and you start moving it on it. You carefully do that. You carefully do that. What you are trying to do is you want the stones to come on the transfer sheet very well. And when you are turning it to, you have to be careful. So I advise you don't do it alone. If you want your stone to come out neatly, because it's always stressful when you remove it and you see that it is not uh, perfectly uh, patterned. So you have to start using hand to put it in. So I would advise you get someone close to you. Just get somebody to assist you with it. Mm -hmm. In the video I uploaded on my YouTube, you can see it was even my husband that was even assisting me that day. Uh, so now, as you can see now, we want to open it after we use our duster to, to match it down. So now, when you are opening it, you be very, very careful. So let me, let me be the one opening it. Leave it. Okay, so, okay, the, there is still nylon on this, that's why. I just bought this pattern board at Osho, the market, so I discovered that, I don't know whether they forgot the nylon that comes with it, I don't know. So, are you seeing it? See, if you see that there are some that do not gum well, you, you, you use the gum, you gum it back. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing it? Let them see what I'm doing. Are you seeing it? See the down. You can see that there's no stone. Except from that one that draw that nylon. Those ones I have before, I've never seen the one that has this nylon. I'm very sure that it was a mistake from the company that makes the transfer sheets. But if you if you buy yours and it has that, you can let me see too. See. Yeah. You try to pick. When you see it's not coming, you try to pick and you be very, very, very careful with it. That thing is a stubborn stone, it's not picking. You can't do it without leftover, but your leftover must not be much. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? So, have you seen it now? Oh, yeah, put the white on it. You can see my leftover is not much. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do now is you transfer it on your transfer sheet. So this just comes like, remove the board. This just comes like the normal paper stone you buy in the market. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
So you know the normal paper stone we buy in the market, mostly not everybody has stony machine. So when you just buy this um, paper stone, let's call it a paper stone now in the market, you gum it the normal usual way you gum your stone. But if you have a part, if you have a stony machine now and you want your stone to be more firm, it's not that when you use it with iron, it won't be it won't be firm. Confirm because there are some clothes I have sewn before I have a uh, stony machine that is still there. So don't say without stoning machine you're liche. No, you can do it with without stoning machine. Do you understand it? So this is it. It's just like a paper stone. So you can just make this with different designs and start selling. You can make money from ordinary paper stone. It's not that you are a tailor or you are not a fashion designer. You can just be stoning, making paper stone, put it, take it to people that sell tailoring material, or you take it to uh, tailors that you need you think they need it. When your stones are quality and of good designs, they will patronize you. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time.